Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I have this uh, nice canvas which is uh, 12 inch by 16 inch in uh, dimension. And my goal today is that I am going to do a bloom but it's not going to be a ginormous bloom or it's not going to be a small bloom which is which usually I blow by my mouth. I want to try something medium size and which is going to be like I'm I want to use blow dryer to create those blooms and also at the same time I have to make sure that they don't crack when it dries. So that these are my two goals for today. So let's start. I just finished um, putting my base coat on and I was very cautious that I don't have too much um, extra paint on my canvas. So let's start with the greens first. We all know that blooms are a little bit of thicker consistency. At the same time, I don't have much uh, paint as my base coat. So I find it very difficult to blow uh, this flower using a blow dryer. As I could not spread the paint oh, along with the cell activator enough, and I am not very happy with the glob of paint that I have over there. I started using my tools because I was not very successful with the uh, blow dryer. On the second puddle, I literally gave up on the blow dryer, so I started using my tool.
Okay. So let's make a flower here. Starting with Indian yellow. Whoops. I'm trying to add enough paint so when I use blow dryer to blow the flowers I will have enough paint to spread and give me a nice flower but at the same time if I spin I don't have extra paint so when I spin the flowers will get distorted. I'm glad that the amount of paint that I uh, put in the puddle, I had just enough paint to create these medium sized flowers, but I don't have too much to um, go spare or extra ones. So when I spin, the flowers should not get distorted. We'll see. I'm going to use a straw to break up uh, just to add some little puff on the cell activator so i will have a little bit more cells than what i have now
see these little little cells are developing now You can see as I am using my skewer to draw those lines, the moment I draw those lines, they are not getting covered by the surrounding paints. The reason is I don't have much paint left to cover them up. Um, so um, the reason I am very uh, stingy about uh, leaving too much paint on the surface was on this particular canvas was to make sure that my flowers don't get distorted and at the same time i don't get any cracks and by looking at the nature i know that bo both of those goals were achieved now the question is when the flowers spin and the sp uh, the paints also spread a little that creates a little bit of character for the flowers so where or how much paint should I leave and where do I find that happy uh, medium between the or uh, compromise between the two situations that would be my challenge to figure out and I need to practice a lot to find that perfect um, quantity of paint where my blooms are going to be, be beautiful at the same time the flowers will not get distorted when i spin and um, also it will have some organicness I think when I used the swipe technique using my tool to create the flowers, actually not the flowers, the leaves, I think they created a very unique look and I am really enjoying what I have right now. If you have any uh, suggestion about this um, technique and what I'm trying to achieve, please uh, write them in the comment section so uh, we can figure out what we want to achieve uh, faster together.
I am dipping my skewer into the greens and I am trying to create some tentacles which will at the end of the day create some more interest on my negative space. So here we are. Let me show you the close up. I am really happy with the results that I have right now. And um, please tell me what do you think. And um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you are learning from me, uh, my technique. And uh, I am also learning from you guys when you write down comments. So please keep on uh, write, writing down comments. So i can improve my craft thank you so much for joining me today bye